So today we are going to learn about the bacterial shapes and its arrangements. Okay. So before getting started, we need to know that how many types of microorganisms are actually present on this planet. Okay. So the microorganisms these are commonly divided into five groups. First is bacteria, then is virus, algae, fungi, and protozoa. These are the five common types of microorganisms that are present in this planet. Now coming to the different shapes of the microorganisms. So these different types of microorganisms have different shapes which we will see in the scale graph. So this is the scale graph showing the different sizes of the microorganisms. Now these shapes of the microorganisms are actually defined by the cell wall. Okay, so this cell wall they determines the shape of the microorganisms. Now coming to the sizes of the microorganisms, here we can see in this scale graph. So these are the pictures which are observed under light microscope and electron microscope. Okay, so light microscope will give a brief idea about it. So the light microscope are the microscope that are generally present in all the laboratories for general visualization of the microorganisms. However, for uh, microorganisms which have a size less than 10 micrometer, they are visualized using a highly advanced microscope that is the electron microscope. Okay. So this virus mycoplasma, they are seen in the electron microscope only. They cannot be seen in the light microscope. Okay. So here we can see that viruses are the smallest microorganisms depending on the sizes you can see 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 micrometer second is the mycoplasma so mycoplasma is a type of bacteria it's the smallest bacteria having 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 micrometer size then we have bacteria so the most common type of bacteria that are present they have a size range of 1 to 10 micrometer otherwise bacterial size range also uh, increases from 0 0.1 to 14 micrometer. Okay. Then we have yeast. Is yeast is a type of fungi. It's the smallest fungi present, having 3 to 10 micrometer size. So all these are the prokaryotic cells. Now this becomes eukaryotic cell. Now yeast is also a type of eukaryotic cells. However, eukaryotic cells has a size of 10 to 100 micrometer. And Larger than this is the mycelia, this is a type of fungus which has a size of 100 micrometer and it can extend up to several meters. And uh, we can see this using our naked eye only. Okay, so these are the shapes of the microorganisms we seen in the scale graph. Now, coming to the smallest and the largest of the microorganisms, okay, so we will have a quick review on it the smallest and the largest. So, first we come to the bacteria. So the smallest bacteria that is present is Mycoplasma genitalium, okay, which has a size of 0 0.2 to 0 0.7 micrometer. And the largest bacteria is Thiomargarita magnifica and its size is 2 centimeter, which is very large when compared to the actual bacterial sizes. Okay, it is very large. Now coming to the virus. So the smallest virus known as adenovirus, it has a size of 60 to 90 nanometer. And the largest virus is mimivirus and megavirus. So mimivirus has approximately size of 700 nanometer and megavirus has a 680 nanometer size. Okay, so the smallest and the largest virus group. Coming to the algae, so the smallest algae present is Chlamydomonas which has a size of less than 25 micrometer and the largest algae is giant bladder kelp which has a size of 65 meter which is very large in size, right. So this is the algae part. Now coming to the protozoa. So the smallest protozoa is flagellates. Now this has an area of 3 to 7 micrometer into 3 to 5 micrometer. Okay, this is the area of the smallest protozoa. And the largest protozoa is xenophyophores, which has a diameter of 20 centimeter. Okay, this is the largest protozoa is xenophyophores. Now the last one is the fungi. So the smallest fungi is yeast, which you have seen in our previous slide, which has a size of 2 to 10 micrometer. 
and the largest fungi is Armillaria ostoi. It has a surface area of 8.9 km square, which is huge. Okay. So, these are the smallest and the largest microorganisms present in their groups. So, this, this concludes that the smallest microorganism is virus and the largest microorganism present on earth is fungi, no doubt. So, in this video, we will talk about the bacterial shapes and sizes only. So, here in bacteria, generally there are actually four common shapes. Okay. So, the shapes that are present are spherical, rod shaped, vibrio, and spirillum. Okay. So, the spherical is caucus shaped, also called rod shaped, is called bacillus, vibrio is comma shaped or curved rod shaped, and spirillum is filamentous shaped. Okay. So, these are the common shapes of the bacteria present. Now, this rod shape it is divided further into four categories. First is elongated rods, second is helical rods, rods with squared ends and rods with helically sculpted surface. Okay, example is salivary. Now, this elongated rod shape is as a most common shape that is present in the bacteria. This is the rod elongated shape bacillus. Okay, so this is the most common type of Bacillus present. Helical rods are some sometimes compared to spirillum also. Okay, so spirillum is filamentous and helical rods when it is elongated, it is it also looks like filamentous. Okay, so sometimes helical rods are also called spirillum. Okay, now here in the note we can see unicellular cyanobacterial cells are usually spherical, some are elongated and multicellular. Okay, so cyanobacteria is an algae. So, um, we, we will uh, learn in, in our another video about the algae. Now, we will come to bacteria. So, coming to the details of this bacteria shapes. So, first is our bacillus which is rod shaped. Now, this rod shaped bacillus is divided into five categories. So, the first one is monobacillus which is a single rod shaped bacteria. Diplobacillus, which is the two rod shaped bacteria attached to one another in this form as shown in this picture. Third is streptobacillus. So, here the rod shaped bacteria, what they do, they divide into a single plane and they attach to one another, forming a chain like structure. Okay, like this. So, these are the streptobacillus. Fourth one is the coccobacillus. Now, this coccobacillus are the different types of bacteria which have a shape of uh, uh, bacilli and coccus together is they, they do not have proper bacillus shape or proper coccus shape okay so they look like this this is a coccobacillus intermediate of coccus and rod shape okay now fifth one is the palisade now here in palisade this rod shaped bacteria they are arranged or attached together in a lateral manner okay lateral side by side and they form a matchstick like structure okay they attach to one another side by side as shown in this picture so this is the palisade so, these are the five categories. Now, this will become more clear if we look into some of the examples of this bacillus. So, the example of monobacillus is bacillus cereus. Here we can see it's a single rod shaped bacteria. Diplobacillus example is Moraxella bovis. Example of streptobacillus is streptobacillus moniliformis. Example of coccobacillus hemophilus influenza. Here we can see that the bacteria does not have a proper coccus shape or proper rod shape. And the last one is palisade. Example of palisade is Corinibacterium diphtheria. Here we can see they are arranged in lateral manner. Okay, so this is the bacillus shapes. Now coming to the coccus or spherical shape. Now this is further divided into six categories. First is monococcus, it is a single spherical shaped bacteria. Second is diplococcus, so the two spherical shaped bacteria are attached to one another in this form. Third is streptococcus, here the single spherical shaped bacteria, what they do, they divide and they get attached to one another forming a chain like structure. Okay, so they come in the group of streptococcus. Fourth is tetracoccus, here the Mm, coccus shaped bacteria that attach to one another and form a cluster of four cells okay four bacterial cells that attach to one another in a single plane so this they come under the tetracoccus group fifth is staphylococcus 
So here the Cocker shape and vector about the two, they divide into two three plane. Okay, and they get attached to one another for a grape like structure. So grape like structure bacteria generally come under the category of Staphylococcus. Okay, and the last one is Sarsina. So Sarsina has a cluster of eight cocci attached together, as shown in this picture. Now this will become more clear if we see the examples. So the example of Monococcus is Micrococcus flavors. Example of Diplococcus is Streptococcus pneumoniae. Example of Streptococcus group is Streptococcus pyogenes. Not all the Streptococcus come under the Streptococcus group. Okay, don't get confused. Example of Tetracoccus is Gafkea tetragena. Here you can see four four coccus vector attached together. Example of Staphylococcus is Staphylococcus hemolyticus. Here you can see they have attached together in a grape like structure. And the last one is Sarsina. The example of Sarsina is Clostridium maximum. Okay, and the eight coccus bacteria are attached to one another. Now coming to the third and fourth category of this bacterial shape that is Vibrio and Spirelli. Now, Vibrio are the bacterial cells that have less than one complete twist or we can say in general terms it is comma shaped okay as shown in this picture so the examples of vibrio is vibrio cholerae responsible for cholera disease right so this is the image of vibrio cholerae here you can see they look like comma shaped okay so these are the vibrio fourth one is the spirally spirally are the helical shaped which have more than one twist they look filamentous and they have more than one twist. Okay, so example is Helicobacter pylori. This is Helicobacter pylori. Okay, so these are the spirally forms. So this bacillus, coccus, vibrio and spirally are the four common types of shapes that are present in the bacteria. Other than this, there are two other forms that are present in bacteria. That is, the first one is pleomorphic. Pleomorphic are the bacteria who changes forms. They don't have a definite form or the common form. Okay, so they always change their form. So, the example of this is rhizobium. Here, this is the rhizobium figure. You can see that rhizobium bacteria, they do not have a definite shape. Some are looking like coccus, some are rod shaped, some are coccobacilli shaped. Okay, so they always change the forms. And the second example is mycoplasma. So here mycoplasma you can see they are vibrioid shaped also, rod shaped also and coccus shaped also. Okay, so they are always changing. So that is why it is a pleomorphic shape you can say. Second one is the trichomes. What are trichomes? These are the cells. They divide in a plane, they are forming a chain. They form a chain like structure and they attach to one another taking a larger area. Okay. So example of this is Bagiatoa. Just like this is a chain like structure by Yetua, and they are attached to one another to take a large area. And the second one is Saprospira. So, this is Saprospira. So, these are the two other shapes of bacteria that are present other than this four commonly present bacterial shapes. Okay. So, uh, hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you have any queries, feel free to comment below. If you want any topic to be simplified, you can also comment that below and I will see you in our next video.